It is with a heavy pixelated heart that I have to ask you to mark the 29th of July 2024 in your Beardy Beer Bro Show branded calendar as this is the day that Microsoft will be closing down the Xbox 360 store for good. We on the channel have extremely fond memories of not only the Xbox Live Arcade, but also the Indie Store, and yeah, even though the 360 is a granddad at this point, the magic of the console and its store still holds strong all these years later. Not only is the interface a breeze to use and the price is extremely fair, but even to this day there are still some absolute gems to discover, whether it be physical or ruddy digital. Sure, a lot of these games are still available on newer Xbox hardware, but a lot of ruddy amazing titles and their DLC are about to be erased for good or even become extremely hard to get hold of and cost a lot more bees and honey than they're probably ruddy worth. So in memory of this great service, we thought we would spend the next few months creating videos detailing everything you need to know or buy before the dreaded Red Ring of Death hits the Xbox store for bloody good. Right, firstly we have to mention that any games or DLC you have already purchased will not be affected by the store's closure and will still be playable on your system. That's good. Not only that though, but also that many of the titles on the Xbox Live Arcade are also available to purchase on modern Xbox consoles or other platforms. That's good. However, sadly not every digital game on the store has made its way over to current stores or other platforms, and once the 29th hits, these games will be unfortunately gone for good. That's bad. I also have to mention that if you are hoping to go back and grab some indie gems, well, you're also shit out of luck there, as the indie library of games is no ruddy more. Which kind of sucks balls as there was some true hidden gems on there. That's bad. It is also worth noting that just because the store is closing down, that it doesn't mean that you won't be able to play your already purchased games online. As if said game servers are still up and ruddy running, then you're free to play to your heart's content. From my minimal research, I believe games like Gotham City Imposters are only still up and running on the Xbox 360. That's good. And lastly, it's time to think about the retro video game market. A ton of the greatest games the 360 has ever received are available on the store for some very reasonable prices. But once the store closes, physical copies of a lot of these games are likely to skyrocket in price, especially the ones that have yet to be made bloody backwards compatible or playable anywhere else. Also, don't forget wanky publishers do have a tendency to delist games out of the feckin' blue. Dare you. For bloody example, you just have to look at a bunch of licensed games that have now been delisted to see how quickly a physical copy can go from affordable to having you say no frickin' way in hell am I paying that. For example, Spec Ops The Line just got delisted and the prices have gone from dirt cheap to utterly unreasonable and let's not even mention Beanox's Spider-Man titles, god damn. But before we start dropping videos detailing what you need to ruddy buy and all that other jazz, I'm just going to remind everyone watching that different regions will have different titles available to them. I've got yellow teeth, love a copper, and will struggle to ever call football soccer. So obviously I'm from the ruddy UK. So if I do miss anything available, wherever you are, do your part and leave a comment down below and help out your fellow 360 brothers in arms. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Also, by the time this video comes out, some titles and DLC may have already been removed, so take that into consideration. This is just an introduction to a long line of videos we are planning to make, but just in case anyone wasn't aware, well, these are the facts badly explained to you. Right, I think that's it. Make sure you hit that sub button and turn on notifications, as our first video will be on a collection of the finest, physical, non-backwards compatible hack and ruddy slashes to ever grace the system. So until that video drops, stay healthy, stay happy, keep it Xbox ruddy 360, but more importantly, you guys stay tipsy.